When we look up at the night sky, it is quite easy to believe that space looks like a serene place where hardly any dramatic events occur. But if we were to represent the universe on a large map, it would be possible to see some really tremendous things. It would really be quite a sight. Imagine what this most large-scale phenomenon in the explored parts of space would look like. An explosion whose power is comparable to some global processes in the universe. Or a release of energy as powerful as the hypothetical Big Bang itself. The first in outer space. To begin with, let's define what the Big Bang actually is and estimate how much power may have been released in this process. The concept of the phenomenon referred to describes the accepted cosmological model of the genesis and early life of the universe, namely, the beginning of the universe's expansion after an undefined period of being in the state of singularity. The state of singularity is the state of the universe when the density of energy was large and the space-time curve was sharp these figures reached the Planck values. The Big Bang, on the other hand, is said to have been the starting point for the process of this energy getting released. This event can't have been anything like a dynamite stick going off in empty space. Besides, it took place literally everywhere at the same time, and it's hardly possible to pinpoint the epicenter. It is indeed hardly possible to say with certainty how it really happened and what it looked like. But one thing is clear, this was an ultimate event of enormous proportions. We're talking about an explosion that is considered to have given birth to the entire universe. In the centuries of the history of space observation, science hasn't registered any other event similar in its proportions. However, as our technologies became more advanced, scientists came to realize that there are some events taking place in deep space which are powerful to such a point that it appears that all existing models need to be questioned. One of these breakthrough discoveries was gamma-ray bursts, or GRBs. The term traditionally refers to large-scale energy emissions in space, which in fact are an everyday occurrence in the cosmos. Gamma-ray bursts are the most powerful of explosions known to science taking place in space. Shockingly, the energy released in a few seconds is tantamount to that released by the Sun in the course of 10 billion years. It was next to impossible to register gamma-ray bursts for 30 years. Even though some attempts revealed a rather exact location of a source, sources were always scattered and didn't repeat in one place. A burst didn't leave any traces whatsoever and the best scientists could do was to identify some really remote galaxy where a burst was registered. Only in 1968 was it possible for scientists to put their finger on the phenomenon of gamma-ray bursts, all thanks to the Vela satellites of the US Air Force, whose mission was detecting possible nuclear tests in the atmosphere. According to today's views, gamma-ray bursts occur when massive stars go supernova and collapse to black holes. A powerful stream of charged particles bursts out from the hole's vicinity, on interacting with magnetic fields and cosmic radiation, these particles produce gamma rays as a result. This stream of gamma rays is powerful to such a point that such events are easily detected by satellites, even though they may have taken place several billion light-years away. On the other hand, they can't be registered by Earth-based telescopes on account of the atmosphere, which actively absorbs these rays. The amount of energy released in the course of a gamma-ray burst may reach a septendecillion ergs. If an event of such tremendous proportions were to take place close to a planet, it would be tantamount to an atomic bomb exploding in every hectare of the sky. Of course, all living things would almost certainly die instantly. A gamma-ray burst is capable of exterminating any life within the radius of tens and even hundreds of light-years and seriously affecting biospheres of planets within the radius of thousands of light-years. Thankfully, they occur a bigger distance away from us. 
For example, one of the most powerful gamma ray bursts ever detected, dubbed GRB 180720, is more than 4 billion light years away from us. This means that its light has traveled to our Earth for about one third of the universe's age. As for the amount of energy in this gamma ray burst, it fluctuates between 200 to 1000 billion electron volts. Just to compare, the energy of visible light is in the range from 1 to 3 electron volts. At a distance of tens of thousands of light years, a gamma ray burst like that is practically harmless, but one out of a hundred or thousand flares in a galaxy may occur close enough to a planet to pose a threat. Speaking about a threat to our own planet, scientists are still at odds if an explosion like that may dramatically affect it. For example, according to some calculations, gamma ray bursts are really capable of seriously and noticeably affecting the Earth's fauna every several hundred million years, and one of these flares may have been the cause of a major mass extinction event. However, science is more keen on investigating the nature and origin of such bursts. Today, it is posited that as a rule, gamma ray bursts occur following the collapse of a really massive star or else when two neutron stars merge and collapse together to a black hole. A gamma ray burst event doesn't much differ from a supernova event in this respect, as both of them involve a gravitational collapse of a star's core. The difference lies in the consequences. In the case with a star going supernova, a hard layer of matter is shed, which travels with a speed of 10 to 30 kilometers per second. As for a gamma ray burst, something emitting gamma quanta travels practically at the speed of light. An event like that isn't likely to occur anywhere close to us. Be it as it may, a great number of events of a similarly large scale occur in the cosmos and they may well take place comparatively close to us. One of these could be a star going supernova, a phenomenon when a star's apparent magnitude intensifies 10 to 20 times. This process is the ultimate destructive event taking place at the end of some star's evolution and is accompanied by the release of great amounts of energy. A supernova event is accompanied by emissions of substantial amounts of matter from the star's outer layer in interstellar space. If the star's mass before the explosion was more than eight sun masses, a compact object is formed from the remaining matter of the star. This object is called a neutron star. If the star's mass was more than 40 sun masses, it is posited that a black hole appears after the explosion. As for the composition of these emissions, there's a large percentage of thermonuclear synthesis products, the remains of the process taking place throughout the star's entire life cycle. It is thanks to such supernovae that the universe in general and every galaxy in particular chemically evolve. It goes without saying that what I've told you about the nature of these events is largely theoretical assumptions. Man hasn't observed these processes from up close and therefore cannot make definite statements about their nature. Nevertheless, thanks to the development of astrophysics, science is advancing impressively far ahead, revealing things unheard of in the past. And who knows, as time goes by, we will probably get closer to understanding much more complex matters.